Hello friends. I'm going to continue with an analysis of this little black box that you see in front of you. I uh, did a video earlier which was kind of a reveal for both you and me. I didn't know what was inside it. But um, now that I did a quick analysis at the time, maybe right, maybe wrong, I don't really know. But what I think it is, is a DC to DC converter. And I'm going to hook it up and look at the inputs and outputs and kind of see what what's going on. Okay, so now we're going to back out and show you my little test setup. I've got a uh, this is a lab power supply on the left a voltmeter on the right set to DC volts and connected to uh, the output wire, what I believe is the output wire which I've since stripped I've got the power supply already set up for 12 volts but with current limiting on. So hopefully there won't be any smoke that comes out. Let's try it in 3, 2, 1. It's not drawing any power the way it's hooked up. At 12 volts. Let's turn up the volts and see what happens. Although, oh, okay, I see there we're getting something out of the, on this side, 5.47. Turn that down again. Okay, so, see we're dropping over here when we've got about six over here this is kind of dribbling down towards zero so it's almost like it's got some sort of a shut off point so we'll go to eight again nine okay so it looks like approximately nine volts We've got 5.46 volts coming out DC. I'm going to change it to AC setting real quick, but I expect to see zero there or some very small value, approximately zero. Okay. Now as an additional test, let's hook up a load resistor to it. I'll do that and be right back. So I've wired up this uh, power resistor. This is, says 5 ohms and 10 watts. So um, since we're getting about 5 volts, the formula for power is V squared divided by R. So 25 divided by 5 gives us 5 watts, and that's half of what this resistor is uh, rated for. And I kind of expect that we'll go into current limiting Depending on how I have this uh, power supply set up, I'm going to kind of start small and go from there. So I'm going to turn it on now. So we're in current limiting, which is this little red light here. And I'm going to turn up the current limiting. So now we're getting the 5 volts here about the same, the threshold point here was about that same 9 volts that we saw before. In fact, I'll turn that down a little bit. This goes to zero very quickly now because it's got this load resistor on it. So we either get kind of an immediate zero or we get um, 5 volts out of here when we've got enough voltage coming in and enough and we're not in current limiting mode because I've got this set up. So what we're expecting here is I'm expecting this to get warm. It's warm to the touch, but not you know, not super warm like a pulling something out of the microwave type warm, whatever how many degrees that translates to. Um so 58.58 amps here. We can expect about one amp here because we've got five volts and five ohms using some round numbers. 
we've got about half the voltage here and uh, you know about half the current that I'm calculating here so putting those all together we can say that this element here that used to be the, the black box mystery element so let's say we put in 9 volts here and we've got uh, that turning into 5.4 volts on this side and about the same amount of power in and out there must be some sort of conversion loss but anyway it's relatively efficient as this type of DC to DC converter is we'll show our picture again Oop, something's getting toasty Oop, time to turn it off quite toasty now with this all turned off we've got zero volts here there's nothing this is totally drained I'm going to feel this I can't feel anything that's at all warm appears to be normal temperature so that's another thing that tells us about the efficiency that we think we've measured now just to uh, kind of complete the story here I'm going to get an accurate measurement on this resistor which is still quite toasty so the meter reads 5.4 ohms which actually works out nicely on the math because we were getting about 5.46 uh, 5.5 ohms here um, so we'll do a little math of what our efficiency is and uh, and pull that up next here's a tabulation of uh, data we took earlier in one trial we had 9.3 volts of input 0.64 amps of input which multiplied together turns into 5.95 watts at that same point we had 5.36 volts output we'd measured a actual resistance of 5.4 ohms and using the formula of V squared divided by R that comes out to 5.32 which gets us to 89.4 percent efficiency now with another trial, uh, we had an input of 10.2 volts, 0.58 amps, which calculates to 5.92 watts on the input. And then on the output, we have had 5.37 volts, again 5.4 ohms, V squared divided by R equals 5.34 watts. So that turns out to be an efficiency of 90.3%. So just as a round number, let's say this little uh, DC to DC converter is about 90% efficient, which makes sense uh, relative to the fact that I couldn't feel any uh, temperature rise on it with my finger. Uh, whereas at that same point, the uh, load resistor was actually quite warm and to the point where you know I naturally drew back from the heat as you saw. So that ends our exploration of the uh, black box mystery. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks, goodbye.